you a boy band fan? I'm a massive boy band fan, particularly now I'm jumping on the boy band wagon because uh, boys own a back and I went to see them in concert last week, mm -hmm. which was awesome. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, secret advice, that's secret, all right. Secret advice. Uh, I had a really good time. I love the boy bands. I was always a big fan. I had smash hits posters all over my bedroom, okay, so I'm well, really pleased they're back. Maybe you liked these guys as well because boys own in Scotland next week. Take that are back on the road as well. And also... Uh, with us tonight, uh, a guy, an original member from one of the all-time favourite boy bands. But first, before we meet him, we've been out on the streets asking the people of Glasgow what they made of their musical legacy. The Christmassy one, baby, if you've got to go away, whatever it goes like. Stay now, baby, if you've got to go <laughs> And then they've got that one that goes, all right, all right, everything's going to be all right. All right, all right, everything's going to be all right, all right, all right, it's really all right. Baby, if you stay another day. <laughs> deep, deep down, surrounded from my chest, that's all I know. <laughs> East 17's Tony Mortimer with a sub, uh, potential tribute act there, I think, yeah. don't you? Yeah, potential members. I think. <laughs> yeah. New members of the band. Yeah, that's really surreal watching that. That's <laughs> Good to have you with us. You're Thank back you uh, making music. Yeah. Good to see you back. I is it part of the whole kind of boy band revival? Is that why you're singing again? Kind of, yeah, indirectly. Um, the boy band revival got East 17 back together briefly, um, and so... I kind of done the songs for the first time in in years, like about a decade. Um, before that, I hadn't done them, so we've disbanded again, and I'm still doing the songs now. So, having fun, rocking on out. It was actually it. you who formed the band, wasn't it? Was it '92? Yeah. yeah. And the band was formed around you. Yeah, and kind of. Yeah, not around <laughs> me. Yeah. You but, were the yeah. central, the central member. Yeah. yeah. The original member. Top dog. Top dog of E17. And you won an Ivan Novella, of course. I did, yeah. How lovely is that? How did you feel when you got that? Really, really good afterwards, because I didn't know what it was before. <laughs> and so I'd never heard of it. But afterwards, it's a really prestigious award. It's the kind apparently. of ultimate songwriting yeah. award for you, Yeah, I it? wish I knew what it was before, and then I could have really... <laughs> Appreciated it. Up. Yeah, but it was great. I went to the awards, and um, there was a bottle of champagne with my name on it, and I drank it and made a... Mess with myself, as you do. <laughs> as a boy band member, what yeah. else? Goes with the treasure. So, <laughs> so where did it all go wrong for you? I mean, how did it all kind of fall apart? Uh, where did it all go wrong? Uh, I don't know. After the first single, I think. After the record deal. Um, I think just living so close together um, like this for five years, you just sort of want a break. Um, and it just starts to implode, really. Was there animosity? Maybe, I don't know, I've not really... Was there animosity within the band whilst you were on tour or afterwards? No, animosity... No, there was a healthy... Uh, a healthy competition, but not really animosity, no. Okay. And um, if we still see each other now, you know, there's a connection there between us because we were friends before, so... And also, you're on the road at the same time as Boys and Take That. Were you ever big friends with, with Take That? Yeah, we'd take that. We was on the road with them. Boys then came a bit after us, didn't they? They picked up the debris oh, from, no. us, from us to take that. Um, yeah, we sort of take that quite a lot on the road. They're out there now. You were saying, you, you know, you were all friends before it started. You are boys from East End a lot. That's where yeah. the name came from, East End Postcode, wasn't East it? 17. East 17. Yeah, I got the idea from... Um, there were remixes out, and I saw a remix of an Electribe 101 song, and it was remixed by SW2, which was a South West London postcode. And I went, aha, ding! Just as well you went from here, Glasgow G51, doesn't it? Yeah, not I quite the same ring cool. to it, I does don't it? I think E17 was pretty bad at its, in its time, but, well, uh, you know, it caught on. I tell you what that East End thing did mean. I mean, it meant you met some amazing people, including yeah. the Craze. And yeah, Reggie. A lot of people don't know that about you, but you actually wrote a song. We wrote Reggie a song Craig. together, yeah. He wrote a poem called Falling Rain, um, and I um, changed some of the words around and put some music to that. Yeah, it's a ballad. It's really good. And um, you've never released that? I've never you? released it. No, I've got it at home, and I've got a copy of it with a Scottish singer called Jinky Gilmore, who's sung it as well. He's done a fantastic vocal on it. Um, but I got it at home. Um, tucked away yeah. somewhere. It's tucked away, yeah. Any plans to release it this time with your... I don't know. If, if people wanted to hear it, then, of course, yeah, I'd let them hear it. And you were at the funeral. I mean, you grew yeah, I was, I was one of his your... pallbearers, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we kind of struck up. We had quite a lot in common... With, um, apart from the obvious, but we grew up and there's pictures of them at them, 
at the bottom of my girlfriend's road and we had the same colour car and the same kind of car and it was all sort of strange things and his birthday's on my missus's birthday as well as well 24th of October. What's the connections? So there was yeah and uh, we, we were just getting on and he just lost his brother at the time I just lost mine and so we just got you know connected it's so very interesting. Bang up to date, you're still writing songs. I mean, it's some of the old yeah. stuff that people are wanting to hear when you come on the road like this. But yeah, you're still writing new music. I'm writing some new stuff, not too much. I'm not forcing an album out at the moment. Um, I'm doing most of the old stuff because I couldn't think of anything worse than to appear somewhere and people turn up and you do a load of stuff they don't know. And I just think, whoa, here come the tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so just doing the old stuff like Steam, House of Love, uh, It's All Right, Stay Another Day doing that sort of stuff and doing it it's all live no playback sync no dance routines how's the voice oh better it's better i've had a lot of um uh, coaching and stuff so yeah it's good i don't smoke i've give up all the stuff that's bad for your throat it's so. like you, you're the same aren't he you looks like yeah. a nun like me yeah yeah it's very important actually vocal health isn't it particularly it really is as a yeah artist. yeah and air conditioning's bad for it and stuff like that so you've got to be really Flying on planes, no hotels. Yeah, flying on planes. And even talking before a gig, you've got to kind of calm it down a bit. But management always come up and say, I've got 57 interviews before the gig. And you're like, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's down. very true, actually. So yeah. planning some new gigs, and you're going to be yeah, coming up here, hopefully, I've as done well. the first gig, definitely coming here. I've done the first gig um, to sort of see what had happened, and it was crazy. And so now we're going to book um, maybe a dozen around the UK and definitely come in here. Definitely lots of fun memories. Great. Be good to see you up here. Now, you flew up specially today for this interview. Yes. Maybe you flew over this on the way up, um, the flight from uh, Heathrow. This is in uh, Oxfordshire in the newspapers today. It's another of these crop circles. Look at that. It's a giant jellyfish. You didn't see it, Tony, by any chance, did you? I didn't, know. It's right near where my sister lives, so well, I'll to go pop and check down that there. Out. But actually, you're not the only ones down there because the STV helicopter was up uh, earlier today over Scotland and managed to uh, pick up these images. <laughs> Look at there you it, go, look at that. Look at what a good looking guy. What a fat man. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, talking of that, just in the next field uh, was this. Look at that. Oh. Bang in the nose there. That's Who a nice it? one. I don't know. <laughs> don't want to know. And this one as well. Like Arnie there. No! Lovely. I'm sure he distorted that. Connie Fisher crop circle. What a th <laughs> Do you believe in all that stuff? What do you think, Tony? I don't know what to th make. What, what's the explanation?